Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be talking about transferring your data from Google Sheets to Airtable. Now, if you're like me, you've used Google Sheets to prototype a whole bunch of things from financial models to you know, your data pool to everything analytics that you could imagine. Google Sheets is kind of the playground for that stuff. And it's a really good playground for that stuff, but it's a really bad automation platform. So if you're running automations into Google Sheets right now or around Google Sheets right now, I'd really caution uh, your building of new automations on top of Google Sheets. One really, really simple example. Google Sheets columns are lettered, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, et cetera. Now that is essentially the ID of that column. So if you rearrange anything inside of Google Sheets, if you put column J to column A, all your automations will break because that means every single column between J and A changed their ID, right? Because column J is now called column A and that means column A is now called column B, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have automations inside of Google Sheets right now, please use caution because it is not a fun mess to clean up if you have five, 10, 20 automations all going into one uh, Google Sheet and somebody rearranges a column or a column gets deleted. It's just not a fun knot to untangle, trust me. So let's get into it. In this example, we have an ID column, we have a first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. Um, this is all mock data from uh, a thing called Mockaroo. If you're interested in, in creating that, right? Creating your own mock data, this is a great website for it. But in this example, we're just going to be transplanting this information into Airtable. So it's really, really simple. First thing you do is download a CSV of the current sheet, comma separated value of the first sheet. So when we do that, you saw the download come in here. And now we're gonna go over to our Airtable. Now, I, we've run a couple different tutorials on this Airtable. If you're interested in some of the, the broader strokes about Airtable, how you use filters or groups or views, uh, and how you get all of those things into Zapier or your automation platform, we have some other videos for that. Uh, this specific tutorial is gonna be all about the import. So when we click on add, uh, add or import, we're gonna click on import data, and then you're gonna click on CSV file. We're just gonna click files to upload, and then uh, right there, that was my latest download. Just gonna click on that. It's gonna upload, detect field types, um, and you have the option actually to, to choose. Is this a, uh, what kind of text is this? Or is this a number? Or, well, it doesn't look like a number. Let's do long text. Um, you know, is gender a, now, uh, a single select field or a multi-select field? Um, we're gonna keep it as a single select field. Email address is not a long text. Email address um, is an email, but for the, sake of, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna hit import. And this is the imported table. We'll say, we'll rename this G sheet, uh, G sheet to Airtable. And there we go. And now I can actually click on this, change the field type if I want and make this email, continue. And there we go. And that's how you get all of your G Sheet data into Airtable. It's that easy. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. There's a lot more to be said about G Sheets and Airtable and how you can use these to build an automation infrastructure inside of your organization. Uh, but as always, links and resources are in the description down below. And don't forget, keep the flow.